And I think I will place my final piece right there. What? Oh, pretty sneaky, sis. <laughs> Connect Four Super Size, just one of the great items that we have going to have up for bid at this year's TV 44 auction. Hello and welcome to another special edition of Faith and Friends. You know, we could play another game. We could, but we also got a lot of other great items that will be up for bid that we can tell you about. We've got some trips coming up, and once again, Kalahari has donated to the TV 44 auction. That's right. We have a Kalahari um, combo what do we have here? can't remember exactly what it is. It is the combination suite for up to eight people. That's just one of the items that you can come and bid on at the TV44 auction. 9 a.m. start time on September 9th. 12 noon will be the trips. 2 p.m. will be the cars. And also up for bid will be this very nice double Lazy Boy recliner from Herring House. I'm tempted to kick it out, but I have a feeling then our great Connect You'd 4 game Connect with 4. my success. Yes. I just want to point out that I was one move away from winning as well, <sighs> but she beat me to it. So we, we got the, the Kalahari, Kalahari Lodge. There's also a Great Wolf Lodge has right. donated as well. Thank you to um, the Teeters for sponsoring this uh, give, getaway, this getaway trip. Great Wolf Lodge, similar to Carl Kalahari, but not quite the same. Another great indoor water park and a great event for families. Whispering Pines and other bed and breakfast. This is brand new to the TV44 auction and we are super excited to bring this one to all of you who want to have a wonderful getaway. This gift certificate should get you two nights at Whispering Pines Bed and Breakfast, which is situ situated on a lake somewhat close to Akron. They got a lot of neat packages, including horse riding packages, so just a really nice time to get away and relax. And from Akron down to Southern Ohio, Cincinnati, we've got a Bell of Cincinnati Riverboat Cruise that'll be up for auction. Thank you to Dr. Briggs and his family for sponsoring this trip. It is tickets for two, a deluxe package for the Bell of Cincinnati Riverboat Cruise, which also includes a wonderful dinner. Maybe your family is into roughing it. You like to camp, you like to get the tents out. We've got a gift certificate to the KOA gift, uh, gift certificate to the KOA. And the neat thing about this gift certificate is you can use it at any KOA camping site all across the country. I've lost track how many there are, and you don't even have to have your own camper in order to be able to take advantage of this. The KOAs, if not all of them, most of them offer cabins, rental RVs, and they also have tent sites. And of course, when you go to a campsite, many times you also have a swimming pool, you have a nice place to ride bikes. Again, just a nice getaway, but yeah, a little bit different than the bed and breakfast. <laughs> We've also have got a gift card from 10th Avenue North. That's right, we wanna say a big, big thank you to our friends at Shine FM for donating to us a VIP package for 10th Avenue North. October 1st is the date of this concert, and they're also going to give us a $50 chamber check, which means you can go out for dinner in Bell Fountain before you go out to this great Christian concert. Now, if you're driving down to Bell Fountain for the 10th Avenue North concert, maybe you're in the position where you think about you need to get some new tires for your car. Well, we've got a gift card for new tires. Our friends at 4K Tire in Delphus have been incredibly generous. A $300 gift card. What a great family runs this, uh, this business, a Christian family. And uh, like Mark said, if you want to travel anywhere, solid, trustworthy tires are important. And 4K Tire is your place to go. Now, there's a lot of different ways you can say thank you to people, a lot of different ways you can advertise your businesses, including outdoor advertising and Geeskin Outdoor Sign has donated a pa advertising package. That's right, this is a $200 advertising package for a um, for the digital sign that Geeskin Outdoor Advertising has right now. Uh, there is one in Bluffton and I am told there is another one in the works in another area. So come to the TV44 auction, get your business boosted with this special package from Geeskin Outdoor Advertising. But you could also use that for a personal message, I'd su I suppose. You certainly could, yeah. You got a message you want to spread to somebody, maybe you want to surprise them on their birthday, or maybe there's an engagement or something else that you are trying to think of a special way to do it. Sure, a digital sign could be the maybe, thing. Maybe, maybe you want to package a couple of different winning auction bids, and you can use that Geeskin Outdoor digital sign to say, guess what, honey, I bought you a personal wellness spa gift card. Who can't, 
who isn't in need of some sort of relaxation and rejuvenation. And the Personal Wellness Spa in Lima is a place that offers so many things from massage therapy to uh, uh, pedicures and manicures and a lot more than, than just that. We'll have four $40 gift cards available at this auction. And finally, there's also some gift certificates to car wash. Right, Performance Car Wash. We're so grateful to the Newmans for their donation. $100 worth of gift cards. Your car will be sparkling clean if you are the winner of these items. You know, while the auction attendees come for the item, they always stay for the food. And this year, we welcome the church at Allentown as they will be running the food court. And we welcome Bo Barbecue Catering as the grill master for the day. Andy Lynch is standing by with our Bo Barbecue Grill Master. Brian, Brian Hennon. Hennon. Well guys, you know me, if there's barbecue involved, I am in the center of it. And take a look at this plate that Brian Hennon has prepared for us. It is a feast, and we'll zoom in on it here in a minute. But Brian, owner of Bo Barbecue Catering, you'll see him a lot at the auction coming up. Look at that. We got the pastrami in front. How long did that pastrami take? It takes two weeks. Uh, two weeks? Yes. It, it, you know, you got to soak it in a brine and turn the meat every day. Uh, and then once it's all brined, then you have to soak it in a water mixture <laughs> to get the salt out of it. Okay. And then smoke it. So it's it's a two-week process. So this is a special delivery. TV yes. 44. Yes. We appreciate it. Special. The, the sauerkraut and the mustard for that. And then the... The barbecue, you got your pork and coleslaw and, and your homemade barbecue homemade sauce. Homemade sauce, yep. Ever, all the sauce, all the seasonings, everything is all homemade. What got you into barbecuing? Uh, the love of cooking. Okay. Uh, believe me, I, I've messed up a lot of meat when I first started, especially <laughs> the briskets. Oh, those are uh, hard, aren't they? Uh, they or they were they, hard. They're not hard. Uh, okay. But they're hard for me. Trial and error, uh, I wasted hundreds of dollars doing them, but now it, it's second nature. And you do meal prep for, for families that want to order meals and, and have them to eat. And this is a business that you're finding is, is very popular. Yeah. Uh, as far as I know, we are the only one in the area that does the meal preps. Uh, they're, they're, they're not the big meals. They're not going to look anything like that. <laughs> uh, it's all portion control. Uh, we try to keep the calories down, carbs down. Uh, it, it's more of a healthy lifestyle. And people are, are gravitating towards that because yeah. they're so busy. Yeah, yeah. We started out doing it for the CrossFit gym where I was going, yeah. and uh, it's kind of snowballed. So you're bringing in more people, or you, or you need to, to yeah. do these meals. Yeah. Yeah. TV 44 auction coming up. You'll be grilling out there. What made you want to be a part of, of the auction? Uh, I, I know it's a big fundraiser here. Uh, and, you know, sports report I watch every week. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you know, so it's good. I mean, uh, back in the day, 30 years ago when I played, there was nothing around. Yeah. Uh, and, it, you know, and having a son grow up, you know, wrestling and playing golf and stuff, you know, the, the exposure they get is great. Well, thank uh, you. I love it. We appreciate that, and we appreciate this meat. i got to start digging in here. What's your favorite thing to grill? What's your... Uh, Probably the brisket. Is it? Uh, it it's my go-to. Uh, oh. I think I do more pork than I do anything. Is that popular? Most yeah. popular? Yeah. You this get is the, amazing. The pork's best bang for your buck. Okay. Uh, but uh, the brisket is tremendous. Rubs, sauces, what do you prefer? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of a sauce guy. Yeah, me too. Uh, you know, I, I never serve any of my meat with sauce on it, but okay. it's always on the side. But, uh, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a sauce guy. Wow. Special sauce. I like it. Yep. It's got a little kick to it. I'm eating with my mouth. I'm talking with my mouth full. That's not good. <laughs> Brian Hennon, give us the Facebook page so people can go and check it out. Uh, Bo, BoBQ, uh, Meal Preps and okay. Catering. Uh, it's on Facebook. Uh, every Tuesday we post, or I should say every other week we post the new menu on okay. Monday or Tuesday. Orders have to be in by 4 o'clock on Friday, and they pick up on Sunday. All right, there you go. Check it out and come visit with Brian at the auction. We've had a recent addition to our vehicle lineup for the upcoming auction. This 2005 PT Cruiser, as you can see, it does have a sunroof. Let's take a look at some of the other features of this limited edition model. This 2005 model provided by Tom All. 
just 57,000 miles, only two previous owners. It's a hard to find limited model. Heated leather seats also includes onboard navigation system and really a beautiful vehicle, leather seats as we mentioned, and that working sunroof. Vehicles will be auctioned beginning at 2 p.m. on Saturday, September 9th. Let's head down to St. Mary's where Jennifer is standing by with a special guest. I am here with Mark Bird, missionary for Revive Ohio, and we are counting down the days until Allen County is embarked with people who every day, every moment, their heart cry is to reach that message of Jesus Christ out to, out to the people. They don't have to come to them. We are going to go to the people. Mark, tell me about the excitement that is brewing with this coming to Allen County. Well, it really is growing. Uh, every day we meet with people and every day the word's getting spread and every day people are talking like we're, we're getting invited to come and speak before uh, mayor and uh, city council and uh, chamber of commerce and business people and pastors and leaders and just church people everywhere. And there's just a real hunger in a sense, just like you described, Jennifer, there's just a real hunger for a move of God, a fresh move of God into Allen County. And as it sits right now, we're at about 46 or 47 churches that are already said, yes, we want to get involved in this. And I'm not sure if anybody has ever seen 47 churches actually come together uh, for anything in, in Allen County before, but we're super excited about it. This is phenomenal, and hopefully you have heard about Revive Ohio. We've been talking about it. Perhaps your church is involved with it. Um, but if not, what you may not realize is this didn't just start yesterday. This has been in the planning and the prayer process, the fasting process. We're in that right now, but it's been going on for several months. Mark, just describe what Revive Ohio is. Well, Revive Ohio is really just that it's it's bringing the churches together because for so many years we've just worked separately and, and, and we've done a good job working in our little individual church buildings. But for the people of Allen County that are struggling, the people that are just hurting, the people that are out there and the people that will not come to church for whatever reason that may be, we have to go get them and the church really needs to unite. We need to, to show that we can come together and we can be one. We can be the body of Christ and we can go out and love on those that are hurting and to actually help them. So part of what we're doing, as you described, Jennifer, is we need people to start talking about it, start getting on board and start letting everybody know that God wants us to be a part of the revival that he's waited for for a long time. He's really waited for the church to do this, right? We all say we're praying and we're waiting on revival. Lord, we're asking you for revival, but really the Lord's waiting on us. And it's just such a time like this. And like you said, we've been preparing for this for months because that's what we want to do. Like we didn't set a date for this for a long, long time because we wanted to get an understanding of what the Lord wanted to do. And we gathered the pastors and the leaders and we needed to pray and we really needed to hear from God, Lord, when do you want this to happen? And so we just set our face to pray and we've come together. Many There's many prayer pods and locations going on throughout Allen County in different towns and so forth, not just Lima. And it's really beautiful to watch the body of Christ come together to pray and seek God for this. So September 10th through the 16th is the date that was decided upon. That is coming up very soon. What is going to be happening during that week-long time period? Yeah, that's a great question. So again, the traditional model of what a revival has always been, of course, we either throw up a tent or we have some meetings in a church building. This is somewhat different in that we're asking the church to come together and people say, yeah, I'm just not sure I can go out on the streets and evangelize that. That's really not my calling, but there's so many ways you can get involved in this. Like you can come and join our prayer team. You can help us serve meals. You can help us in the kids, revive kids, revive teens we've got we need housing we're gonna have hundreds literally of volunteers and missionaries come from all over the United States come flooding into Allen County to help you revive your city right and revive your county so we need help putting them up we need help with prayer people we need we have all kinds of needs so I would encourage you to reach out to your pastor like you said Jennifer and just ask are we involved in this and I would just involve, now we start prayer at seven in the morning and I would say, come out for prayer. 
We break bread together as a, as a body of Christ three times. We eat breakfast together. We have lunch together at different churches throughout the week. And then we have dinner together as well. Very important for the body of Christ to come together. We do go out in the mornings and we pray for all churches. We go in the afternoon and we pray for people that we run into, we encounter into schools, into businesses, wherever they're opening up their door and they just want a blessing. We have many businesses call and say, would you come and share and just pray over my employees? We would love to do that, right? So that's part of what we do. We just want to be a blessing to the community. We want to be a blessing to the city. And you know, it's interesting. Uh, God said in Proverbs 11, 11, by the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted, but it's overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. And so what we have to do is decide as a church, as a body of Christ, we want to be the voice of Allen County again. The church needs to take her place and to be a part and to just rise up and come together and say we can unite in Christ. So that's really the central message of what we're trying to bring to Allen County. And don't forget every single day we're bringing to you verses from the Revive Ohio 40 days of fasting and prayer as we lead up to this event which does start September 10th. There's a 6 p.m. kickoff service at Lima Baptist Temple and then there are services like Mark said breakfast in the morning prayer in the morning and things going on all throughout the week. We're showing you the schedule on the, on the screen. You can find that information on the Facebook page. There's a Revive Ohio Allen County Facebook page. Um, you can also call TV 44. You can call Lima Baptist Temple. And is there anywhere else that they can contact to uh, get involved or find out more information? Yeah, WTGN Radio has been working with us as well, 97.7. We also have an actual website, uh, reviveoh.com. And so we've got many videos on there where you can see, we've been in five counties already in Ohio. You can see uh, videos from every single day where we're just out loving on the people, right? And that's what we're saying. We're just inviting people to come to the Marriage Supper of the Lamb. And it's a lot of fun, I'm telling you, to watch God move. The stories that come out of it are incredible. They're wonderful to see what God is doing. And when an individual, individual just simply says yes and steps out like you did, Mark, you said yes, you stepped out, you walked away from things you were doing before because you sensed God leading you in a direction, and now God is doing incredible things. Now, Allen County isn't the only area. Like Mark said, five other counties have already experienced this and have amazing stories and testimonies to tell. And perhaps you're not in Allen County and you're thinking, that needs to come to my county. Well, you can go to that website, reviveoh.com, right, .com, yes. and uh, you can find out more information and find out how it's going to be. So as we are in those final days, how would you encourage people to be praying as we prepare for this to happen? Yeah, I would pray. And, and if you're honest, if you ask God, Lord, do you want me to be involved in this? And then when he says yes, I want you to say, how specifically would you like me to be involved? One other thing I like to add is that another component that makes us different from every other revival that we've ever had is the discipleship component. Because Jesus didn't say to go and make converts. He said, go and make disciples. So we have a complete discipleship program that goes along. So when we actually encounter people and they come to know the Lord, we have a full, complete disciple discipleship program that allows people from every church to just disciple and walk along new converts and help each other grow in our faith. And that's the really lasting thing that we've seen. And as we mentioned, we've been in five other counties already, and that's what we're seeing. Here we are a year later, and we're still seeing discipleship relationships still thrive and grow, and people are growing in Christ. And I believe that's what's going to make a difference in Allen County, is we're going to make disciples for Christ and that's what's going to help change. What's Amen. Amen. Disciples for Christ making a difference in Allen County. It can happen. God can do incredible things. September 10th through the 16th, Revive Ohio, right here in Lima and the whole county, Allen County. Thank you, Jennifer. And we will have more on Revive Ohio next week on Faith and Friends. Now, as you've seen throughout uh, this show, there's a lot of different items that will be available for the auction on September the 9th. There's always a lot of artwork available as well. And we are joined now by Aaron Brockert, Aaron, the art guy who has donated some of his work to the TV44 auction. Aaron, thanks for, for coming in. Thanks for having me. Now, the, the piece that you've donated specifically for the auction is here on set. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, this particular drawing. Well, this is a 1966 Shelby Cobra, Cobra Super Snake. 
and um, this is a 9 by 12 and I've got it in a 11 by 14 frame here. Um, this drawing took about 20 to 25 hours approximately to do. Um, it's mixed media, so it's a variation of colored pencils, graphite, ink, and carbon. You have been drawing your entire life, I take it. Correct. Um, yeah, I started at a very early age. Um, it progressed a while and I took a lot of different art classes and I eventually settled on pencils because I consider myself to be very uh, detail oriented and that's really what I like to do is get the maximum amount of detail that I can. You said you've settled on pencils. Uh, have you experienced doing other medium as well? I do, um, I, I do have an experience uh, with a variety of materials, um, watercolor, graphite, um, charcoal. Watercolor, charcoal, but, but pencil is what you, what you like the most. Correct, yes. What, uh, what's your main design focus? Uh, my main design focus, I would say, is cars, trucks, um, aircraft, uh, machinery, uh, pretty much anything. If, if it drives, floats, or flies, I can draw <laughs> it. <laughs> now, this particular piece, the, the Cobra, now, did you draw that from memory, or were you using a, another photo? I use a photo reference for most of my drawings. Okay. Um, something like this, it's uh, very hard to visualize in your head, you know, just the proportions and uh, the shading and highlights and different things. So it's, it's really beneficial to look at a reference photo when you draw something of this detail. And I, I know you're a Christian, you're strong in your faith. How has the Lord played a part in your business, this artistic endeavor? Well, I definitely feel like it's a gift uh, that I was born with, you know, and just having the patience to sit down and complete something like this, uh, as well as the attention to detail, and most of all, you know, just the desire, the willingness to keep drawing, to keep going, uh, no matter what. And, you know, I think it's great that, you know, I'm able to use this to bless other people, and it's just really cool to be able to have this uh, talent. Aaron Brockert, Aaron the Art Guy, this is just one of your drawings. Where can people see some other uh, examples of your work? Well, uh, you can visit my website at www.aaronTheArtGuy.com. Uh, you can send me an email at PlatinumFireArt at gmail.com. Also, I'm on Facebook and Instagram. All righty, thank you very much. Aaron Brockert, again, this particular drawing of the uh, Cobra car will be available for the auction coming up on September the 9th. And now we'll send it over to Jennifer and a couple of guests with another item that will be available coming up on the TV44 auction. So a couple weeks ago, I told Andy that I have found a way to make cleaning the toilet fun and healthy. And so today, we have brought Andy's kids here to the Yay. studio so that we can show you a way to not only make it fun and healthy, but something that even kids can do. With so, authentic toilet water. Too. With authentic toilet water. No, no, we did not take this out of the <laughs> toilet. However, we recommend if you try this at home, you do it in your toilet, but don't drink out of it like we have a drinking glass here. Kay's Naturals LLC out of the Columbus Grove area has gifted us gift certificates and some products for this year's TV44 auction. And the really neat thing about Kay's is that, look at that, kids can touch them. She is touching a cleaning <laughs> product. Well, she's touching the outside of it, but even if she touches her hands on the cleaning product, it's okay. The organic lip balm is made from all natural organic things, beeswax, very good stuff. Lots of really wonderful things. One of the items that will be in this package that will be in the, uh, the auction item is this room and body spray, which has a lavender scent. Anna, do you want to spray this? Yeah. Spray it Not and see me. how it smells. So it's a room and body spray. You so spray. it can go on your clothes. It can go on your, spray your, hard. your, um, there you go. There we go. You might want to spray it out. You want to try it? Anna. Spray it out and you kind of spray that way. You got it. Oh. Ah, so it's just a nice lavender scent, but it also is a natural, uh, nice cleaning option. A lotion bar. Thank Anna you. loves this lotion bar. This thing is made out of virgin coconut oil, beeswax, raw cocoa butter, shea butter. Why do you, it's really soft. Really soft. So a lotion. There's just a few of the mm -hmm. items. She has makeup, but she also has, she meaning Kay's Naturals, also has cleaning items, including the fizzy toilet balms. So, do you guys ever have to clean the toilet? No! Do you? That is, that, is one of our chores. that is one of your chores. Well, maybe we can make it more fun. So it says on the directions to put one or two toilet bombs in the toilet and let it go for a few minutes. Is it going to explode? Oh. This is made of baking soda, citric oh. acid, vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, essential oils of tea tree, lemon, lavender, peppermint, and spearmint. Let it sit for about five minutes. You can even smell it. Andy, can you smell that? 
that scent. I do. I Citrusy. Citrusy. Mm -hmm. All natural, no bad chemicals, and now you just now the kids can go yeah. in ahead and clean the toilet. Very nice. It's right. not going to explode though. It's not going to explode, but it's. Maybe if you put some baking soda and vinegar. Maybe if you do the whole container of them. Should we do it? Uh, that would be wasting. You don't want to waste because we want to give this away at the TV44 auction along with the gift certificate to Kay's Naturals, which will be one of the many items up for bid on September 9th. Whether you've got work to do out in the field or just want to have fun, this 2005 John Deere Gator is the perfect vehicle. 2 p.m. at the auction, you can bid on this and several other cars. That Gator has an automatic dump bed. It's four-wheel drive and only 142 hours of use, so a great vehicle. That'll be yours coming up September the 9th. We also have that Harley Davidson motorcycle, the 2005 PT Cruiser, which Mark showed us earlier today, and several other vehicles. Lots to choose from. That's there. right. We also have this great Lazy Boy double uh, recliner. Oh. This thing is comfortable. That's it. He's he's out for a nap. Now we get all the food because <laughs> that, that he's going to be what? sleeping. <laughs> you know, we're also going to have a lot of food certificates. Wait a second. Mm. Do you know what you're eating? It looks good. And it tastes good. This is, these are scones mm. from a, uh, a spot, spot for tea. tea. A spot for tea. Two ladies have come together to create um, mobile tea parties. Really? They cater to, uh, they cater tea parties. They provide any or all party ideas, high tea, afternoon tea, birthday party, bridal shower, fundraiser, mother-daughter tea, holiday tea, Mad Hatter tea, reunions, church events, cream tea, Tea etiquette, and they are donating two dozen freshly made scones to the TV44 auction. And that's like as close as you can get in America to like an authentic English tea party. It's true. This the the duo that puts this together are Megan Beck and Sarah Seeley. And Sarah grew up in uh, in England. She oh, wow. is she's she's a wonderful, wonderful lady, and she's got that awesome accent too. <laughs> <laughs> what is a Mad Hatter tea? Do you know? Well, that would be a question, I would say, probably for Sarah. Come Mad to, Hatter Tea, isn't, isn't that in the Alice in Wonderland? Alice in Wonderland? No, I never I made know. it through that old movie, though. Freaked me out as a kid. Did you read the book? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try these scones. Okay. So come for food certificates to restaurants you know well and perhaps places you mm. don't know so well. As Jennifer's just telling us, a spot for tea with those fresh scones. So that'll be something that'll be available coming up on September the 9th. A lot of great food. We saw what uh, we're going to have the barbecue. Barbecue will be supplying mm. food as well. I've been eating all day. This is, <laughs> if the auction's anything like this show, I am going to love it. And of course, we have much more than what we just showed you. Visit WTLW.com to view some of the items and plan to attend Saturday, September the 9th. Now, even if you don't plan to purchase any items, you're welcome to join us for an enjoyable day at TV44. Always have a great time. It's like a family reunion getting together and no arguments. That's the best part. No, no, you know what? And, and <laughs> it really is neat to see how it all comes together yeah. because sometimes you can get a little testy if one person bids and somebody else wanted it and you think that, you want it, but you know, we, it all is very smooth. Yeah, it's a good it day. It all works very well. One more reminder, registration opens at 830. Auction starts at 9 a.m., tools at 10. Sports items at 11, trips at noon, vehicles at 2. TV44 auction is September 9th, right here at 1844 Beatty Road. We and hope we'll have scones. Well, they might be gone by then. Oh, no, we're going we're, we're to you're you're, gonna have you to have be the bidder. Scones. We're bidding, we're, we are auctioning off mm. homemade fresh scones. So get your bid card ready. That's a good breakfast item. Is that early? We'll figure that out. Between now and then, <laughs> contact me and I'll let you know when the scones are going to be. It's probably going to be around lunch, to be honest. Okay. It's a so good dessert. That'll yeah. be the plan. So make hey, sure One you're there. person's breakfast is another person's lunch. He, he'll eat pastrami all day long. That was good pastrami. <laughs> I'm going to go get some more. We'll see you next time.